Hey everyone! So, uh, Pokemon Snap is really good. I played the original, and this one is definitely living up to my precious baby professor memories. I am still waiting for the Poke Commission to recognize my research so I can have a private beach cabana like Mir, but you know. Alright, let's make Marty's eyes and stuff. Shift A, add a plane. Rotate by 90 degrees on the X axis. Position and scale this plane. Try to position in object mode and scale in edit mode. Attempt to line up the plane's origin with the center of her eye, and move it on the y-axis to be near the front of her eye. In edit mode, add some edge loops. I added 5 vertical and 4 horizontal. Select the top and bottom edges, dissolve these vertices with X. Select these new top and bottom edges. With smooth proportional editing on, pull these edges back on the y-axis. Select this edge. Change to sharp fall off and pull back on the Y axis. Adjust fall off as needed with the mouse wheel. Shape this side as well. Change pivot point to active element and rotate. You could rotate this object on a single axis by hitting R and double tapping the axis you want to rotate on, but I just chose to lock the other axes. Get the eyes positioned in here about like this and unlock the transforms. Turn off the head objects in front display. Position the plane so that there's minimal clipping through the head. Turn off the head object for now if it's in your way. Cut in some edges with the knife tool. Edge slide anything you don't quite get right. Select and merge vertices. Edge slide to make the outer shape more circular. Move any vertices that clip into the face back. Select all and shade smooth. I set the origin of my head object to the world origin. Add a mirror modifier. Use the head object as the mirror object. Rename the eye object. Put the old objects in the archive folder. Time to make an eyelash. Select these vertices and duplicate. Use P to separate by selection. I also want this vertex, so duplicate and separate it too. In object mode, select and merge these two new objects with Ctrl J. Name this object. Select these vertices with this one last. This, this one. Change pivot point to active element, duplicate. Rotate to line this end up with the reference. Do the same in side view. Make some adjustments. Try to line up the vertices with the ones above. Create an edge here with F. Match our geometry with the reference in side view. Select this vertex, hit Shift S and move cursor to active. Select this lower edge, duplicate and move to about here. Also move it forward on the Y axis. Select all and merge by distance with M. Solid view might be helpful for this part. Fill in the faces. It looks weird, so recalculate normals outside. In wireframe, edge slide these vertices so that they're more closely lined up with the other vertices in the loop. Delete or dissolve this vertex. Create a new edge here with F if needed. Fill in these two faces. Select and extrude up a vertex.
Fill in this back face, and the rest of these faces. I decided to remove the head object as the mirror object. Doesn't change anything, I just wanted to. I want to shape the eyelash a bit. I like most of it, but I want these lower edges longer. This is a good place to experiment with some pivot point settings. Select this vertex. Move the cursor to active. Select this edge. Switch to normal orientation. Change pivot point to 3D cursor. And scale. As you can see, the edge scales from the 3D cursor. Move the pivot point. And scale. And it was all for naught, because it looks bad. But it's nice to know that there are different options uh, if you mess around with stuff. Change our settings back. Adjust our shape by hand. Select this edge and extrude out. Merge at center. Match the reference. This looks pretty good so far. Cut an edge with K. Select this front vertex and move it forward. Hit F3 and search for subdivide. Create an edge here with J and here. Move this vertex. Kind of pull this vertex out a bit. Join these two vertices with J. Cut in an edge with K. Join these two with J. Shape stuff. Select all and shade smooth. Add an edge split modifier. Mark edges as sharp. Disable edge angle on the modifier. Keep marking edges as sharp. That looks pretty good. Time to make these little spikes. Shift A, add a plane. Select these two vertices and merge at center. Scale down. Scale down the y-axis more. Extrude up. Merge at center. Use the knife tool with occlude geometry off. Hit C to turn on angle constraint. And cut in an edge loop. Cut in another loop here. Select an edge slide if you want to move anything. Select these two and scale up. Scale up these two as well. In side view, move stuff to curve this shape. You could turn on proportional and rotate slightly. Position to match the reference. Duplicate since we need two. Rotate and position. Move stuff around to tuck these new shapes into the other eyelash thing. Shade smooth. Mark these new edges as sharp.
Delete these back faces. Turn on the other head objects and check out your handiwork. I like to go into render view to see how the lighting looks. Now do any fine tuning to your eyelashes. We need to make a shape for the inner eye so you can't see into her head from certain angles. Select and duplicate these vertices. Separate by selection. Select these lower vertices on the eyelash. Duplicate and separate. Select these two new objects and join them with Ctrl J. Tab into edit mode and select all. Mark as sharp. Create edges between these two gaps. Select all and mark as sharp again. Extrude in, rotate. Scale on the Z axis, and a little bit on the X axis. Position. I'm going to join this object to the head in a second, but I named it anyways. Select these two objects. Join with Ctrl J, select all, and merge by distance. Select and mark these edges as sharp if they lose it. Add an edge split modifier. Deselect edge angle. This outer edge doesn't need to be marked as sharp, so I cleared it. Like always, recalculate normals outside. Time for eyebrows. Shift A, add a cube. Position and scale. Rotate in side view by 35 degrees. Scale down on the Y and Z axis, S Shift X will lock you out of the X axis. Position on the Y axis. Scale down on the Y axis. And edge loop down the middle with Control R. Control Shift R to offset this loop. Select this outer loop and merge at center. Select these upper three vertices and merge at center. Select these two and merge at last. Add three edge loops to both sides. Turn on proportional editing. Scale down on the Z axis and the Y axis. Rotate to match the reference. Grab this vertex and pull back on the Y axis. Adjust fall off as needed. Shade Smooth. Alt select the outer loop and mark sharp. Add an edge split modifier. Deselect Edge Angle. Add a mirror modifier. Use the head as the mirror object. Rename this object. She has a simple lower eyelash as well, so let's make that. Shift A, add a plane. Rotate and scale. If at any point your object scale gets off and you want to reset it, apply your scale here and it turns back to 1. Position and adjust to make this shape. Add some edge loops with Ctrl R. Snap this lower edge to her head. Delete this upper edge or remove it a bunch and then delete it. Turn off snapping. Select all and extrude up. Move back on the Y axis. Extrude out this edge and merge at center. Turn on snapping and snap the new stuff to the head object. Turn off snapping and position things to minimize clipping. Edge slide wherever necessary. Make the little point on this side as well. Also snap it to the head object. Turn off snapping and shape. Shade smooth. Add a mirror modifier to the lower eyelash. Use the head as the mirror object. There we go! 
All right, see you guys. Love you, bye.